Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about how to use a 60 watts PoE injector and turn a 24 volt system to a 48 standard 48 volt standard PoE. So 24 volt path is a passive PoE, and what's a passive PoE? It's a PoE system that removes the initial handshake that standard PoEs that devices have. This initial handshake will check if you if two devices have the equal amount of power to receive and, and put out. If they don't, then the power will not put out. A passive PoE, like a 24 volts, 24 volts passive PoE, will just receive or put out the power no matter what condition. Now, in what circumstance should we you know, raise 24 volts up to 48 volts? Well, assume our edge device is a panel tilt zoom camera like this one here. These kind of cameras require a lot of high power to function because there's a lot of features in it. And we have to raise the voltage in order to let it function properly. Now, how should we do that? Well, imagine in this scenario where we're going to plant a panel tilt zoom camera in the outside and it's kind of far away to connect some cables, you know, like Ethernet cables. And we're going to use something special. This right here is our wireless network bridge. It's two pieces usually, and these will transmit wireless signals for transmitting data. It's just as regular as our everyday wireless devices. So these usually run on 24 volts. These are passive PLE devices. And especially in some like in farms or in deep mountains, the power is usually set up as 24 volts. So that's why these are made as passive PoEs. And in this case, a 24 volt, if we connect it with an Ethernet cable when it receives the data and allow it to use PoE to power up the panel to zoom camera, you will find the camera will not function. So this this end of our wireless network bridge is connected to our main network here. And this end will imagine this is like a valley or a few several meter, uh, several hundred meters away. Now this is power. It's already connected here. And you can see this right here, this device will fixate our voltage to 24 volts. So currently, the, vol the voltage through this whole power system is 24. And now, I'm going to connect the Ethernet cable to this panel to zoom camera. So in this case, the PoE has only 24 volts of power. And once I've been connecting it, you can see there's no movement. The, the panel to zoom camera can't self-check itself at the beginning, so nothing's happening. It just means it's not receiving enough power. Now, I just arm it, and here I'm going to apply our fast cable outdoor PoE, PoE injector. This is a 60 volts outdoor PoE injector. And I'm going to connect our Ethernet cable from the network bridge to the data port where the data comes in and then connect the Ethernet cable to the PoE port and let the PoE come out. And then let's see some magic happening. You can see it's functioning right now. That means there's enough power for it to function. So why would this happen? Well, first of all, a 60 watts outdoor PoE injector has a very wide input input ratio so when it can work from 24 volts all the way up to 55 volts and the special part is if it has a handshake with the camera it will know it needs more than 24 volts and in this case it's connected to the 24 volts power system it will gain power from the 24 volts power system power source and then boost it up to the correct amount that the panel to zoom camera needs so this is like a, it enhances the power delivered to the panel television camera. It's pretty simple, like it can 
work and function on very low voltage, 24 volts, and then depends on what kind of device is connected to it. It can enhance the power, improve, and raise the power voltage to make it just perfect for this camera or other device that uses high voltages, high power. And also, because since we're designing this to be going outside in you know, a wireless and special, special you know, environments, this is a metal case and it will sh be very waterproof and dustproof. It's rated IP67 and also it has a very wide range of working temperature. So when it's like too hot or too cold, it will not malfunction. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about the 60 watts PLE injector or you have questions about this wireless network bridge, you can all leave them at the section below. I'll take a look at it and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.